Welcome back everyone. Today we'll talk about how to start digital forensic investigation with open text in case. I am using in case version 23.3, the newest version of in case. Before we begin, we have to have the case evidence file downloaded in your machine. This can be downloaded from this website. I will leave the link in the description section. As you can see, let me scroll down. As you can see from the case scenario, this is the case scenario, you are going to start investigating an insider trade breach, a data a leakage case. You can stop this video, pause this video, and read it before continue within this case there are four evidence files you need to download one computer file personal computer file and three removable media two of them are USB this is the first USB drive this is the second and the third removable me media is CD. Okay, that means overall we have four devices uh, or four uh, evidence files you need to download. To download these image files or the evidence, you need to download the in case image. That means the image that ending with E01, E02, E03, and so on. Why? Because we are using in case with an E01 extension, that means you are going to get the header information like the case name, case number, and case information with the hash value in the end. Where if you are going to download the 001 or the DD image, you will not get any metadata with 001. However, in case will work with both of them. Okay, to download in case image, you right click on any of these uh, files, right click, save as, save as, and then select your destination. Make sure all of these files, the fall one, two, three, four, are in the same folder. Then this for personal computer, then download for the removable media one. You will find this is the in case file, uh, removable media two. Uh, download this file sorry uh, download this in case file which is in by e01 and then for removable media 3 um, download uh, this file the e01 file by downloading all these files you should have the files in the folder let's start uh, to load our evidence and create the case into in case this is the in case user interface whereas uh, it has different sections uh, whereas there is a case view tools in script uh, and the pathway for the pathway there is a full investigation and preview and triage we are not going to uh, uh, discuss them in today YouTube video I may create another uh, videos about the pathway but however to start uh, creating your first case you need to hit on create a new case or a new case this is the first thing then it will come to you uh, templates for the report template there is a different type of report template but I'm going to use for today video is the forensic UK however you can create your own template then the name of today uh, investigation I will name it as uh, sorry I will name it as <clears throat> uh, NEST uh, Data Leakage Case. Let me copy it. NEST Data Leakage Case. Also, I recommend you to, to create a folder in your computer where to save your investigation file into. In this case, I'm going to uh, save it on, on a new created folder called DLC. Okay. Called DLC in my Google Drive. 
Uh, also, I'm not going to back up uh, the case. I'll just remove uh, the tick from here. Remove the tick from here. You can you can hit uh, OK, or you can uh, create a case information into the case. Let's say case number. If we, if you have a case number, um, let me go to just one second. Let's give it a case number, usually a unique number. Let's say, name it as um, DLC01173. Let's say this is our case number. All of this will be shown in your report. Uh, case date, let's say it's uh, uh, 01 01-01-2024. Oops, it's not written. Zero one slash zero one slash twenty twenty four. Okay. Examiner name. Let me type my name. A brass and then Robert. All of these are the case information. Okay. Examiner ID. If I have any ID, let's say one two three four. This is my personal ID. Let's say agency. Uh, let's name it. Uh, this GCU, okay, GCU, the university I'm working for. Uh, any description, uh, just type NIST, maybe data uh, uh, leakage, okay, NIST data leakage case. And then hit OK. Backup is disabled, yes, I'm disabled my the backup. Um, does not exist. Or not a folder. Let me just if the cache. Yeah, because we forget to uh, uh, to change the cache as well. Just I, I will hit um, OK. Let's see. OK. Uh, you need to modify the cache as well, where you need to save the cache and so on. And here is what you get once you create your case. The the case name. Let me case name. Case number, case uh, date, examiner name, examiner ID, and so on. Okay, and so on. Next, you should save whatever you do. You should save it. Okay, uh, hit this one, uh, the left side, and save all. Make sure every time you save anything you do. Okay, anything you you do. After we saved, if you if you go to the folder. Uh, we just create a DLC, okay, folder. You now have uh, the NIST data leak case that we just created, last modified. It's now, the time is just now, okay. This is the default folder based on uh, the template. We select the UK template, whereas have documents, emails, export, uh, tax, temps, and so on. All information related to your uh, investigation. Okay, related to your investigation. Where's the temp folder? This one, the temp fo folder is designed to store temporary data generated by in case. And the export folder is uh, the folder that where you export uh, or store a copy of the data from the in case, let's say you manage to find a word document in your investigation and you need to export it, you will export it to this folder. Let's now add the evidence. Okay, let's now add the evidence. If you remember in the beginning of the video, uh, we downloaded um, uh, the evidence file from the web, uh, website, and these are uh, the computer, which are four. Easy uh, 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 image, uh, folders, sorry, four uh, files, and then there is uh, two USB, USB one, USB two, and this one the CD. Okay, this one the CD. Now let's let's try to upload them to the in case or add the evidence. Okay, or the add the evidence. First thing you need to go to evidence. You click here the evidence. I will explain all of these in next videos. Okay, I will explain everything. In any case, in other videos, okay. Uh, evidence, 
add evidence this one sorry not this one uh, uh, evidence add evidence click on add evidence and then choose between local devices evidence file raw image in this situation we are going to add evidence files because we already uh, have the evidence file okay but remember within case you already you can inquire uh, a data uh, from uh, in case itself okay let me copy this location and then we go to this location as you can see rather than one two three four uh, uh, in the file there is uh, seven i think because e01 e02 and uh, this the part of uh, the bc okay we can just see one file for the bc we will hit uh, open for the first one open <clears throat> Um, and then um, indexing let me okay keep it like this perform we are not going to perform any process at the moment in this video and I will click OK okay and the evidence just been added okay this evidence just been added to add another evidence file read to this case uh, you can go to let me just do it okay to add another evidence you go to ev add evidence then add evidence file and select the next removable media the next usb and do the same okay do the same then the third evidence evidence file this is the usb2 and then another add evidence evidence file and this is the CD okay and what you notice in the bottom here it's already verifying the in case verifying the image okay and uh, and make some simple process to the image okay to the image now if we need to open these are the four evidence now it's loaded into our uh, in case if you need to open any of this evidence, you can double click on it or just um, uh, select whatever evidence you need. Let me select all of them. Okay, select all of them and hit open. Click on open here. Um, yeah, you need to wait. It takes some time to open the evidence. And here is it. This is uh, the, the hard drive. This is the USB, first USB, this is the second, this is the CD. Okay, this is the CD. <clears throat> in case, it's divided to four section. This section, call it three pan. This section, called uh, table pan. And this section, called uh, view pan. And this section, called filter and condition uh, pan. Okay. Let me try to uh, make it more visible to you. You can view whatever files within the evidence by just highlight into that file. Let's say users, if you just highlight, you get whatever folders and file within the main folder users. If you set include, that means the green one, you will get every folder and file within users. What we can see here, it's up to folder and file, 7,419, okay, everything. Uh, let's get to in more detail, okay, let's get more uh, detail. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, let's get more detail. I'm, I'm trying to find a simple file called Razor. Okay, this is the Razor file uh, called e Razor 6.2. Uh, 
dot uh, x e uh, extension that means ex portable ex executable file to search easy it's to search on just file just hit if you uh, you're looking for this one just type in your key uh, keyboard era it will set away it come to this file okay that means we set include to the users to show us all folders and files then i searched for this particular software then i can come to <clears throat> to view ban here in the bottom to find uh, the information about this tool okay like let's say the last access date is 25th of march 2015 uh, uh, file created the great day last written and so on and also i can find the security information about this file uh, like uh, the owner of this uh, of this file who downloaded this file and also there's many many uh, information like um, <clears throat> after i process the files where this file exactly located with the evidence and here is it it's uh, under user uh, the username desktop download and here is it and this is that mean the user has uh, has tried to download this software okay this software it's very very simple and straight for uh, task okay yeah that's all for this part in the next part so we're going to investigate into Windows registry and many more all of this will help us to uh, answer the questions are related to the case scenario at the bottom of the case scenario web page if you like to see more like this make sure to subscribe uh, to my channel to support it thank you and see you next time